COVID-19 has taken the win out of the sails of the pride of Baltimore, too. The historic replica will not be sailing in 2020, but it is finding a way to connect with volunteers who would normally be on board the ship, but of course cannot because of the pandemic. And Sean Stryker introduces us to a local woman working on a project that is the size of her house. The Pride of Baltimore to plan to launch a new volunteer program this winter, but with COVID-19, not much else is happening, so they moved up the start date and got creative. In her Federal Hill home, Claire Gerber's sewing machine is working overtime. I've done quite a few masks when all this COVID started, and I make um, table toppers and I make small quilts and table runners and things like that. But this project is slightly different. Today, she's making a cover for our sale on the Pride of Baltimore too. It's been exciting. It really has. It's been a fun, very different, something new and different to do. And I tend to like to do different projects. I don't stick with the same thing all the time. With the ship stuck at port due to COVID-19, they've started sending projects home with volunteers. They call it Pride when Project in a Box. Cap, it came with probably five yards of this canvassy type material. I basically box up different projects and those projects are pretty wide in their variety and I give that person everything they need to finish that project in the comfort of their own home. Those projects are matched with volunteers based on their experience, interests, and access to tools. They can range from sewing to carpentry. The people that have come to pick up boxes have been really engaged with the whole process. Uh, you know, taking a project from start to finish and completing the, that entire project. And for Claire, when the pride sails again, she'll know she played a role in getting it ready. Well, it's kind of exciting because for many years to come, when the pride's out there around the world or across the bay or up through the Great Lakes, my little sail cover is going to be aboard with her. Now, this is just a pilot program, but it is showing signs of success. They plan to scale up the program and accept more volunteers. We tell you how to get involved on our website, WJZ.com. Sean Stryker for WJZ.